Who you think gonna win it? Honestly, I was thinking Trump was gonna take it. Like I was like, yo, Trump gonna take this joint. Like no doubt, hands down, Trump. But the more I'm looking at that map, bro, I'm starting to think it might be Biden's race. Might be Biden, man. Might be Biden, I don't know. It's kind of surprising to me though that Biden would take uh, one of Trump's states and then try to flip Michigan. I mean, and then try to take uh, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Like, I don't think Biden gonna take Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania too much like Ohio. I'm in Ohio. It's a red state. And Pennsylvania is like the same place. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, what you know, so let's do a little estimate. This is the map right now, y'all. This is where we at. Wisconsin almost done. It's 95%. Biden is a whole almost a whole percent above then michigan 96 Psh, i'd be really surprised if biden win both of these but if he win both of these bro it, it's it's game over man it's game over for trump trump you know what i'm saying i swear to god bro like i did not know people was gonna vote for biden like this i mean he was such a bad candidate to me like he never could speak well i mean he was just a terrible candidate but i guess people don't like trump enough to just be like I don't care. <laughs> it said he just won Wisconsin. That's crazy. Okay, so this is the map right here. He just won Wisconsin. So he at 237. It say 248 though, because they giving that to him. And they giving that to him. Well, they didn't get this to him yet. That's still up in the air. I think Trump might have. Yeah, he got one of them because it's 214. Okay, so this is where we at, y'all. This is where we at. 248, 214. My personal opinion, we'll see if I'm right or not, because this video will probably come out the day of the election, the day after the election. But what I'm thinking is Trump going to take Georgia. He's going to take North Carolina. He's going to take Pittsburgh, which are putting him at 265. Then it's down to Michigan and Nevada. <laughs> Michigan, they have 49% Joe. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> Biden is going to win Michigan, bro. He might not, but it looks like he will. And if he wins Michigan, he going to be at 264. So close, bro. So close. <laughs> this is the most closest election I've ever seen. Um, which is really the first time I've ever seen. Oh, you know what? Trump got Alaska, too. So that put him at 268. So it'll come down to Nevada. Because if Nevada blue, that's Joe Biden. Nevada red, that's Trump. Damn, that's crazy. It really depends on what Nevada do. They say it depends on what Pennsylvania and Michigan do. But, like, I know Pittsburgh, I mean, Pennsylvania probably going to be red. Just because I said Ohio and Pennsylvania are like the same place. No cap. They like the same damn place. If Pennsylvania go blue, of course, that's Joe Biden. But if he go red, Biden take Michigan and Trump win Nevada, which Nevada is still really close. They got him winning, though, by 8,000 votes. It's only 67% in. Bro, this is a close election, man. Either way it go, it really don't. It, either way it go, it's going to really determine who wins Nevada, bro. That's crazy. Post in the comments who y'all want to win or who you think gonna win, depending on if you want, you know, to get into it. Looking at this map, if Trump don't win Pennsylvania, or if he don't win Nevada, man, you know, honestly, Biden might win, though. I don't know. If I had to bet, I wouldn't bet because this is too close to bet. But I would think Trump gonna win just because Trump's map was better in 2016. The fact that Biden took these two, though, like, didn't Trump win them in, uh, yeah. See, the fact that Biden is taking states that Trump won, that's sad, man. That's, that's not good for Trump folks. Cause these two was Trump nation right there, which I still, I find it hard to believe. Michigan is not that liberal, but I guess maybe it is. And Wisconsin seemed like it's up in the damn hills. That seemed like it would be red too, but they already gave that to him. And if Trump win Michigan. So I don't know. To me, it's going to depend on Nevada, man. I mean, this has been your host, Sonny Daniel, breaking down the election. Uh, <laughs> I personally think that it's as close as hell. And then if Joe Biden do some crazy shit and win Georgia and North Carolina and Pittsburgh, I mean, Pennsylvania, <laughs> he going to smoke Trump. 
But then the Trump turn around and went all these. Joe Biden getting smoked. What if Trump turned California red, bro? That would be insane. Honestly, a lot of the times, I ain't gonna lie. I guess it's just because I'm kind of, I don't know, I like chaos lightweight, but not too much. Like, I'd be wanting people to get blown out. Like, if Trump would have blew out Joe Biden, I would have loved it. If Joe Biden would have blew out Trump, I would have loved it. Because everybody would be freaking out and shit. But at the end of the day, you still got to vote on policies. But you, could you imagine, bruh, some shit like this happen? <laughs> like, Texas turned blue. California turned red, bruh. Or, like, you do some shit like this, yo. Yeah. That would be crazy. Like, really divide the country in half. You had to do it more like this, though. That's like almost split down the middle. That would be crazy. But that's the end of this video. I love y'all. Peace. What do do, Dan Dynasty? We in a new mansion, man. Look like he throwing. <laughs> Time for that chrono. Why would you call the police? What is he doing? The energy he brings is so great. This is where the magic happens. Roll, roll over. <laughs> Damn. What did I see? Saw two BBCs. And that's a channel strike. <laughs> Come on now, y'all.